Hi everybody, this is Joni. I just wanted to come on tonight and show you um, a much requested video. This is um, the Fiskar cutter that I've referred to often in my videos. I just think that because of the way that this is designed that um, this gives the most perfect cut every time. And um, the reason being is this cutter is on a bar. It's, it's, it's just very sturdy. And um, it's hard to see, but underneath here, there's a rotary cutter. And I don't believe that you change, I'm not, sh I don't think you change the blade on it. I think what you change is um, the bar, this thing here. That's what you replace. But, um, you know, you just move it along like this. And you can use this on chipboard. You can use it on, you know, multiple pieces of paper. Um, you can use it on material. Um, I don't know if you could use it on vinyl or leather. But this is the, the cutter trimmer that you would want to go to for your thicker materials and it will give you a nice cut. Um, today I'm really only using it because I was telling you guys about the Dollar Tree planners. They come, um, you know, with the vinyl covers like this and they're, you know, they're kind of cheap looking, although I really like this purple color. Um, anyway, I bought a bunch of 2019-20 student planners. This is the one that I had, and I covered it with um, some paper, and then I just used some washi for the spine so that um, the paper would you know, stay on around the spine. So I'm gonna do the same thing today, just with a different piece of paper. And I thought, well, that's a good opportunity to show you this cutter in action. So, um, yeah, it's a week on two pages, and um, this particular one, I took the cover off, and this is what's underneath, and this goes from July through uh, December of 2020. So it goes through July of 2019 all the way through December of 2020. So let's let's do it. Here's my piece of paper. And what I do is I really just, I hate measuring. If I can get away with not measuring, I do try to. So I just get um, a pencil. It's a mechanical one. Is there any lead in it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's pink, though. I don't want pink. Okay, here's one. Okay, so here's a pencil. And all I'm going to do is trace the book. Cut it. This, um, just so you know, if you have limited craft space, this is not the trimmer for you because it does take up a lot of room and it's bulky, bulky to store even. So I'll show you um, okay, it does if I can do this on camera. This does fold this way so that this folds underneath. But it's still kind of bulky if you see the thickness of that. So. And it has rubber like little feet on the bottom so it really doesn't move much and the weight of it alone will hold it into place. It is 
on the heavy side. Line it up with where the, where the slicer goes, which is right along the edge there. So that's where I'm going to line it up. And then you... This feels weird to me. Push that down. And you really have to do that firmly. But that is a straight slice. So I'm going to come back and line that up again. Line that line up. It's hard to see, guys. It's nighttime. Number two, so come all the way down here, and I wouldn't normally do it on this angle either, but having to do it on this table, I have to so that you guys can see. Oop. It just cuts like butter. this much. So if I seem really awkward with it, it's because I am. This would be good if you're doing, you know, like around the holidays, if you're doing a lot of Christmas cards and you're cutting card bases or you're making a project with chipboard. Just because it takes up less space, I'm going to use, I also like um, guillotine cutters, and I have this one from um, you know, Memory Keepers. So I'm going to do this and get these two the same size. This makes a really nice cut. should be good now. Perfect. Okay. I do have a gigantic um, guillotine cutter, but that one is really big. You need a really big work surface for that. So I'm just going to um, use my tape runner. And try 
try to get it right the first time. It's just so simple, but it makes such a difference in your book. because it, it's nice and wide and it has the same color so this will do good for here so I'm going to try to keep it straight that okay so this went on a little crooked I don't want to take it off because I am afraid if I do I'll start ripping up the paper but I'm just not as good at things on camera as I am I'm just taking my blade Cutting off the excess the blade and the scissor. Could I have picked a bigger scissor? I mean, seriously. Okay. And then the same thing over here. I need a replacement blade on this. crooked. A lot crooked, actually. I did a better job on the other one. I'm going to show you the other one. But, um, that's how they look when you're done. So I showed you the cutter. I showed you how I covered the book. And that's what I have for you tonight. And, um, now I'm going to plan in, um, my first week in, um, this planner starting July. So, um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you want to see more like this, whatever tools I have, I am just happy to um, show you how I use them. Um, thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.